Hi, I'm Jacqueline Beam, and I'm a resident artist here at the Peninsula Gallery in Lewis, Delaware. I was really lucky that in high school there was uh, a cultural enrichment class and since my high school was you know in the Brandywine Valley in that rich southern Chester County music and art area uh, I was enriched by the art and the music and theater than everything that was around including Philadelphia really at that time and the symphony so really I have to credit my education and having just the right class and the right teacher for that and of course living in the Brandywine Valley which how can you miss? <laughs> My process for creating a painting is that I go outside sometimes I'm walking sometimes driving and I see something that is of particular interest maybe a building that has historical significance or just the beauty of the land. Um, the area where I live is rich in farmland and um, you know structures and there's a lot of history there so that that pretty much entices me. I mainly paint in oils because of the conservatorship of oils and when I say conservatorship I want these paintings to withstand the test of time because I'm documenting time and place. I do a lot of historical work and um, oil paints, I use only conservative oils. If you're painting something, you want to make sure you're using the best that you can, as well as a solid and conservator uh, substrate, which I do. I use Belgian linen and Baltic birch, so I know that it's all been uh, approved by conservationists. Well, I'm always asked about plein air, and it's interesting. It's been quite the phenomenon over the last 20 years, but of course it started centuries ago, really, in Italy in the 1600s, they tell me. I think that um, most of the plein air that people think about are the uh, Monets and the Child Hassams and the people who painted in, um, you know, the mid-1850s, 60s, 70s, and then of course in, into 1910 and 1920. And once they invented the paint tube, people could pack their paint in the tube and transport it, their equipment a lot more easily. And so that's when you really saw the big revolution of plein air painting. I've really been lucky over the past um, 15 years uh, to be awarded everything from Best of Show and First Place to Honorable Mention and Artist's Choice Awards over the years. I did significant traveling for 10 years and applied to the juried art shows and the plein air events because it was a perfect way to meet artists and learn a lot and to paint different scenes. The, when you go to some place that's different, you really have to think and stretch. And uh, that's how you get your plein air chops, as they say, to go out and be put on the spot. And oh, that also gave me an opportunity to be uh, rewarded um, by people, you know, selecting my painting for various awards and being published. I have to say though that it's one thing to win an award, but um, my greatest awards are really the people that commission and purchase a painting. And I say that with a full heart because I've been across the country and there are a lot of good painters. Um, not just in the United States, but also worldwide. And so when someone picks your art to um, purchase and incorporate into their home, that is the richest award, it truly is.